Okay guys, what's going on? Welcome. We're going to do a little, what the hell shows? <laughs> this is, um, if my lips are a little red, it's because I, I was just eating jello. And I am eating solid foods again, so I'm doing good. Uh, but the, the old school training. So today, a little old school training. And I got my clipboard here, and the throat's still fucked up. You know, it's not bad, it's bad, but it's getting definitely better every day. You know, the tr the neck is still fucking there too but we're doing good uh you know, i say i'm 75 80 percent maybe yeah 75 percent but that's a lot better than i was so and guys right there my boy paul de mayo okay always got to pay homage to paul he was my friend and i love him and right there rocky marciano look that poster was on my wall when i was a kid that's me and that's Lee Labrada. That's me on a magazine. Most sport magazine. And that's right there. That's, that's Lee Labrada at my gym. The gym I owned. And that's my shirt. The first gym I owned. I had three gyms. Now I ain't got who gots. But anyway. Like Jerry Ward said, let's make this camera square. Jerry Ward's my boy. All right. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I'm I also want to thank Chaos Nutrition. Because they're the guys who are sponsoring this show, guys. So I want you to go to Chaos Nutrition. Check them out. They're starting a movement. Uh, Joe's got to give me information because I don't even know what supplements or whatever to tell you to get or whatever, you know, like what they're doing, what they're... I just know that they're starting a movement. Big Frank and, and the other guy that started Chaos Nutrition were once with um, Rich Pian in 5% before he was even with 5%. Back when he was with uh, Mutant. Okay, and these are the guys who are his guys. Okay, and everybody knows Big Frank. He's the biggest motherfucker to ever fucking live. He's a dude. He's fucking. It's sick. He's six feet wide. Okay, he makes that guy Morgan Ass look like a pimple. I'm just telling. He's gigundo. I know him personally. He's a fucking monster. So, Chaos Nutrition. Google Chaos Nutrition. Joe will put some shit down here about it. Okay, but we're gonna we gotta get more of info. But I want to thank him. They're the other ones who are sponsoring the show. All right, I got to show you. Hey, wait, guys, listen. Look at this shit. Wait, hold on. Now, I got the real old stuff from the 1930s and 40s. It's right there. But I, I got to show you this. First of all, I showed this on the Dave Palumbo show. I never RX muscle, but I'm going to show it to you guys. But look, look. That is Steve Weinberger right there. Look. And Bev Francis. This is Muscle Training Illustrated. Look at Steve Weinberger, guys. Look at him. That's, this is an old magazine. When you, what, what year is this, anyway? I can't see shit anymore. 1985, maybe? Pat Neve on the back. Look at that body on Pat. Look at that shit, bro. Look at that. That's a fucking nice body. Look. You guys remember that? You old school guys. I know you, I know you remember that. Let's see. Wait, who's in the middle here? Okay, hold on. I see Madison Avenue muscle. Wait, right, hold on. Oh, inner cover. Holy shit. Matt Mendenhall. Look at that body, bro. Early 80s superstar. Him and Roy Littlemeyer, my boy. Roy Littlemeyer is my boy. I loved Roy Littlemeyer, man. I looked up to him. He was fucking a monster. Wait, let me see. 
I don't know if there's a centerfold in this or not. I don't see what maybe there is. Uh, maybe I'm passing it. Oh, Pat Lanzilla. I know Pat. Patsy, they used to call him. He went to college with my sister. They used to call him Patsy up there. Oh, shit. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a centerfold. Look at That's Steve Weinberger. Yep. The Steve Weinberger and Bev Francis. Steve Weinberger right there. Look at that. Steve Weinberger and Bev Francis. All right. Wait a minute now. We'll put it over here because my girlfriend's selling that. And if I fuck it up, I'm dead. Uh, I don't think I can let her sell this one. This was the very first muscle magazine I think I ever saw. And it's from... Well, wait a minute. I've seen other ones. That's right. This is the very first mu uh, muscle training. And I loved this magazine, to be honest with you. But I remember how much I loved this. Look right here. Boyer Co. Look at Boyer Co. Look at that fucking hair. That hair piece, I should say. But anyway, look at that. Look at that build. Look at that. Look at that. I could do that with my back, too. Pop it like that. Look at that. Look at that. Boyer Co. Look at that the back. Lou Ferrigu. you. It's Big Lou. Look. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look. 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 Okay? That's Lou Ferrigno. And then, and it's, that's Dan Laurie Protein. You guys remember that shit? Dan Laurie Protein? You old school guys. You old school guys know. Oh, shit. Remember this Raphael Olive? Look at that. Remember that picture, guys? You old school guys. Remember that? Remember that? Look. Remember that picture? That was a very famous picture. Oh, there's so much shit. When I go through this magazine, I, I almost get hard on. This, this is, this is what I... I lived for this, bro, growing up, all the fucking, all this old equipment shit, look at all the old equipment, equipment, I love the equipment ants, bro, I love all that shit, you guys, you young guys say, you, oh, I moved the camera, you young guys say, you have no idea, bro, I mean, this was great, look at this shit, man, look at this fucking, look, the centerfold was black and white back then, look at, this is, dude, this is your roots, bro. This is your, I gotta put this over here. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm gonna let her sell that one. That was one of my first magazines. The first one, maybe ever. That and the one with Frank Colto on the cover. Let me see if I got something else to show you. Look. <laughs> I was actually sitting at a dinner table. At Joe Gold's. And, uh, my wife opened up this magazine and Arnold signed it. My ex-wife, see? That's Arnold's signature. And this is the magazine. It's an old Iron Man magazine. I was there with, I told Arnold, that's my magazine, bro. And he goes, oh, this is just like this. But anyway, he signed it for my uh, my wife. But I already knew Arnold, and I was already at the party. Go gold. Anyway, that's his signature. My wife's selling it. My, my girlfriend's selling it. I don't give a shit about this. But anyway, that's it. Well, this is... Uh, what year is this? 1988. Tom Platts. Let me... Hold on. Let me do that. Let me do that. Tom Platts, 1988, look at that. Joe Gold's birthday. I was there. And what's his name? Gave me this magazine. I had to sit there. My girlfriend sitting there talking to Arnold. And Arnold hit him. was kind of almost hitting on her a little bit. It's because she speaks German. She was German and black, my ex-wife. The mother of my children. And uh, he said, here. And he signed it for her. There you go. All right. Let me see what we got here. Okay, I'm looking at the time on the fucking things. Let's see if I get moving here. Uh, obviously, the voice is doing a little bit better. So, let's answer some questions. Hi, guys. This is Cash, and I'm checking in with you from Frankfurt, Germany, with Ignite Thermogenic Fat Burner. This is my little secret to keeping lean and having good energy throughout my busy days while I travel. So I want you guys to be sure to check out Ignite, especially if you're trying to get yourself in shape for this summer. Oh, Ignite is gonna get you into bikini body shape. You know, I gotta show you guys a bit of what's going on. Ignite is gonna help you get the results that you want. You're gonna love this product. I certainly do. So I'll put the link down below for the website. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and use my promo code to get great discounts. Check in with you guys soon. Um, okay. I'm gonna answer his first question. It's from a guy named We the People, who that's his screen name. <coughs> 
excuse me. The throat's a little tight. This thing is really, this fucking thing here, bro. This, wait, hold on, let me get the light. Ah! Over there. Look, that, that fucking thing right there. It starts all the way back. It starts all the way back. Behind my ear, and it comes all here. It's like, it starts back here. Right there. Where is it? Right there. Right there. And then it comes all the way. That fucker is tight. You have no idea. Alright. I'm skinny as hell right now. So, um. We the people said, glad you're recovering, Greg. Uh, protein powder in the broth. Gotta love it. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I don't. I've done it once or twice in the broth, only, you know, the protein powder, but I try to do that on the side. It's hard because they, they you know, not only, I told you, they took out my tonsils while they did because, the you know, cancer was all in the tonsils as well, behind the tonsils, at the back of my throat and all this shit. So they took all the meat out of in there. So it's, when I swallow, it wants to come up out of my nose sometimes. And the broth is the only thing that it does it, but it doesn't do it as much as just even regular water. I just drank water before we watched the movie, it just shot right out of my nose. It doesn't want to go down. It's strange. So I gotta be careful, even with the protein powder was fucking me up a little bit. Diet yellow and protein, this is very age yellow. Might we get red in my mouth, that's why. Um So any alright, here's the question. How do you feel about mandatory vaccinations? Now I know that that's not really a training question, so we'll answer it really really quick. I don't know how I feel about it. If I had a kid today, my kids were vaccinated, I was vaccinated. If I had a kid today, I don't know if I would have the kids. I, I don't know. You read all this crazy shit, but there's so much conspiracy shit out there. You know, what happened at Building 7? Well, you tell me what, what was so important about Building 7. You know, I don't want to get into that, but you know what I'm talking about. It, it, it's all, everybody got conspiracy theories. Everything's a conspiracy theory. You know what I mean? Uh, and by the way, you know, you know, with like the, the hydrochloroquine and all this shit that, you know, about the coronavirus. And bro, I was in the belly of the beast, bro. I was in Mount Sinai while all shit's going on. Okay, for five days. And they're wheeling them right by me. I tested negative. Okay, and I'm in New York City. So, but, and it sucks here, bro. It's fucking chaos out here. But I know a few people that took the chloroquine. All right, that, you know, the hydrochloroquine and the z pack And they're fucking, they they're good. So, as far as, the, you know, like, everything's a fucking conspiracy today. Oh, no, Trump is just saying that because he wants to fucking, you know, he's got stake in a company or whatever the fuck people think, you know. It's nuts. All right? I don't like when that fucking light comes on the back of my neck. Um, but, you know, as far as vaccinations go, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't fucking know. I, I, you know, it, it's 50-50. I guess I would do it because I've done it with my kids and they're fine. You know what I mean? And, I, you know... But I don't know. You know what I mean? It, everything today. I, I do know this. The flu shot, 50-50. Some people it works on, some people don't. You know? <clears throat> Just like with this coronavirus. The only real way to beat shit like this is to isolate the antibodies and put the antibodies in there so that when you have the antibodies, they attack it. But to have some sort of vaccination, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if vaccines work. I'm not too sure. I, I know that don't work in the flu. You know, it's a fact. Google how many people get the flu uh, vaccination and how many people it really works on. It doesn't work on everybody. You know, I don't know. Sometimes it gives people the flu. So, I don't know. I wouldn't, you know, if you're talking about the, you know, the vaccinations kids get, that's one thing. But if you're talking about the coronavirus and all this other bullshit that's going on right now, the world is upset. Dude, New York is fucking insane. It's fucking crazy here, bro. Just fucking crazy. And some parts of the streets are fucking, they're empty, but the fucking bad people are out. So I'm just telling you. I told you a story. When I was leaving Mount Sinai Hospital, it wasn't Antifa, but there were, you know, those bad, like, fucking young thugs. And they all circled around the cars, wouldn't let the cars go in the street. And they were starting, you know, going to the car, you know, going after the people. And my daughter, who fights Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, was once a fucking bare-knuckle champion. And she, you know, I can't fight. Dude, I'm all open fucking bleeding. I'm, I'm all fucking like this and shit in the car. And I'm going, oh, no. I'm going to have to get out and fucking try to fight these or stop my daughter. Meanwhile, I just, you know, these were fucking, like, still open. I mean, you know, oozing fucking blood and shit. But thank God she went to go get out of the car. And they fucking, I don't know, they, 
uh, a war started over on the side. So the guy was, you know, the guys that were in front of her car went running to jump on top of their guy that was over there. You know, the shit that was going on. I told my daughter, just go. Fuck it. You know what I mean? And she did. But if she would have got out of the car, what am I going to do? She, you know what I mean? I gotta, I'm going to have to fucking jump on people and start fucking headbutting and shit. You know, whatever the fuck. And, but my daughter fucking, you know, it's a madhouse here, bro. It's a madhouse, I'll tell you. I grew up, I love New York, you know what I mean? I'm a New Yorker in my blood. I'm a guinea from New York, too, which is, you know. But I got to be honest with you. Uh, I lost my zip. This state sucks, man. And with money, too, fuck, forget about it. Would I pay taxes here? Shit, you know. Fucking A. I pay him one quarter what Dave Palumbo pays in a year down in Florida. And he's got three acres. I got an acre here, but forget about it. You don't know. All right, let's go to another question. What am I doing here? All right, listen. Relax a second, okay? Um, Je Jeremy Carballo, Caraballo, okay? You can read this thing here yourself. It says, he's asking me about the Game Face Supplement, which, you know, uh, my friend uh, is sponsoring our, they're sponsoring our um, Talk is Smack show. I need to take it right now, cause, but I'm doing this at 2 in the morning, relax, I just, it, I've been working all day, you have no idea. Uh, and he's asking me, uh, is it, will it if, you know, affect the natural status? He said, will it make me pop hot on a urine test? Would love to, uh, uh, you know, if it's natural, because he's a cop, and, he, and I can't play with anything that could make me pop a hot test. Okay, I understand that, alright. Forget about Game Face. Game Face is, is not going to make it, and neither will any. So I'm not going to, this is not to promote Game Face. I don't give a shit. Don't buy it. I'm not even going to hold up the bottle. I'm not going to show you whatever. But it, it is Game Face the one I take. My friend came out with it, as you guys know, and I don't I don't want to promote it here. Or to, we'll do that on Talking Smack, because that's the show. But the nootropics, let's just talk about nootropics for a second. Nootropics should not make you fail a test, okay, a drug test. There's nothing in there that's, it, there's no testosterone boosters in any nootropic, not no nootropics. I, I used to, you know, I take the game face now because my friends, you know, I got, it's been, and it's got a cult following. A lot of guys take it, a lot of you guys have taken it, you know. Um, but I used to take the, even Alpha Brain. It has nothing in it that will make you fail. There's no test boosters in a nootropic supplement. Nootropics are the fucking best shit. That shit gets your brain going. It gets your brain going, okay? And it makes you all nootropics. Nootropics are smart drugs, okay? It, they don't really make you fly. A little bit of some of them have caffeine. Most of them have a little, some sort of natural caffeine because the caffeine is a stimulant, is a, uh, is, is, a, is a nootropic. It actually helps you focus and everything. So is it ephedrine and everything. But we don't want you to fly. And the thing is, is that there's no, like, you know, ephedra, I once took, Dristan and had ephedrine in it years ago. This is a, you're talking about over 20 something years ago, like 30 years ago. And I failed the drug test from it. It said I was on amphetamines. And I'm like, what? What? I didn't even know what the fuck you meant. What was an amphetamine? They're like, are you taking speed? I'm like, no. I was taking Dristan, uh, decongested back in the day, bef before a lot of you guys were born. It was at least, it was in the mid 80s, you know. And I got popped for, uh, uh, what it was, was for police tech. We'll get into that another time, you know. This uh, shit some of you guys don't know about me. But anyway, so I got, I got failed this fucking goddamn urine test. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't take the amphetamines. And that's what it was. And the same thing happened to me when I got arrested and then I was on probation, uh, not probation, you know, when it, yeah, probation. I took a piss test and it came up, but there was I was taking had ephedrine shit in there, you know what I mean, pure ephedrine, and uh, they were saying, oh shit, yeah, amphetamines, and you don't know, have to tell the judge and everything, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just telling you, see, they, there's no there's no amphetamines in any nootropics. There shouldn't be anyway, and the, you know, and there's no test boosters that can come up. There's no androstenols, those test you know analog shit. Okay, so you should be safe. So if you have a chance, you don't have to take game phase. You don't take, take whatever you want to take. It's just that it's, it's cheaper, and it's, it's in my opinion, it's the strongest one out there. I don't. I would do it. 
I would take whatever I can get my hands on if I were you as far as a smart drug goes or a nootropic. Still did a thing in the future. You don't need it. It's made for the mom and dad could take it. You know, it, it, it's there's stuff in there that actually helps with Alzheimer's. It's it's amazing. You know what I mean? That's what's called, the, of course, the problem with the game face shit is because there's a fucking ingredient. I, I never say it right. It's vinpocetine or whatever. And that shit is actually, they use that in, uh, for Alzheimer's patients and stuff. And, you know, it, 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 it's totally illegal to have it in it, but it, it's, it, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the Amazon don't want you to, you're sitting there probably going, dude, you need to take that shit because right now you can't remember anything. It's, I'm shot, bro. Okay, I'm tired. I don't want to take anything. I don't like to take anything before bed because then you can't, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'll be staring at the fucking walls like that. They don't need to take a fucking Xanax or something. But anyway, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to take it. Take any, any, take whatever nootropic you want to take. But don't worry about it. You should be fine. You won't test that. But you will notice. Oh, you will notice a difference. You will f notice that you're sharper and you feel better. It works, man. Nootropics are the fucking drugs of the future. And if you mix that with a goddamn pre-workout, dude, you'll be so focused. You'll hear guys in the next room what they're talking about, and you'll know. You'll be like, dude, I fucking, you're in a different, on a different level. And especially this shit's got mushroom extract, so that really fucking makes you go. All right, next question. So the, the, I'm, I don't want to promote that shit, especially not here. Robert Johnson wants to know, hey, Greg, I'm on TRT, and my wife loves it. If if they start they started me on two hundred milligrams for ten week cycle. If I can get them to double it, how much would difference would it make? I'm forty two. I have been working out for nine months. I have a small home gym. Stay strong, Momo. Boy, I can't fucking I read like a fifth grader, especially in my own handwriting when I read out loud. Oof. It's embarrassing. All right. Meanwhile, I got books out and I've been to the top columnist. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. All right. Robert. Obviously, doubling that shit. If you're on 200 milligrams, this is what I take. 200 milligrams of testicipity. That's what I'm on with a doctor, okay? But I abuse the shit. You got to remember something. I took so much fucking testosterone back in the day. I took 6,000 milligrams just of testosterone alone. And then you want throwing sustenons on it and top of that and some fucking juicy D-balls. Some cute little fucking sustenon ant pills. It was so fucking cute. They just, I loved them so much. I missed them. Those goddamn Russian sustenons. I love those things. Fucking metanabol, Polish D-ball. Well, let me just, give me a minute to think. Oh, just a fantasized Polish D-ball metanabols. Boy, did I love those. Man, they were like taking, they were better than, they hit me better than fucking Anadrol. And you know what I like? That dirty drug, Sten, Mexican Sten, S-T-E-M. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, it's dirty. Dude, I got bigger and hard off that shit. Whew. Man, Reforbit B, injectable D-boy, I did not like that. I, it, it definitely hit me, but that shit, your breath, because you get the vitamin, and it come up out of your breath, and you burp, it used to make me nauseous. Whew. But it did work. And then, let's see, you had that fucking big sexy jug, that, those beautiful jugs, look at those jugs, of Gannibal. I loved it, I loved Gannibal. I take that whole fucking 50cc jug in a week, right in there. I can't whistle, look at that, fuck, I lost my ability. Wait, you fucking believe that shit, I just realized that. I can't do like thunder noise, like, I can't do it. I don't have to, it's all gone in my throat. The muscles back here are going out of my throat. The tonsils are gone. The punching bag is still there. The fucking back of my throat, the meat, all the back of the old muscles and shit are gone. I can't, I can't whistle. I can whistle like that, but I used to be able to whistle like a fucking forget about it. All right, so what am I talking about here? I'm sorry, Rob, but I'm like off on a fucking tangent. Um, yeah, if you double it, you know, I mean, I'm good with 200 milligrams. Of course, I, you know, that's it. It makes me normal. You start talking about 400 milligrams a week, and, I, and I'm going to start getting jacked, you know, getting built. It definitely will make a difference, without a doubt. And, yeah, if your wife likes you now with 200 milligrams, you know, she's going to like you with fucking 400. Holy Christ. She'll, she'll be doing a fucking, like, that pole dancing on your fucking 
piece of the god, you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, I, I think that that's kind of obvious. You're asking me an obvious question, and obviously if 200 milligrams works, what if I took 400, you know? Yeah, you fucking Momo. I love you, though. I love you. Yeah, of course it fucking works more. Take 600. Fucking why stop it for? <laughs> Shit, I used to take a whole bottle. 10 cc. Steris. Steris. American 10 cc. Fucking pharmaceutical shit. 10 cc's, 200 milligrams. I used to like propane because that shit hits you fast. But anyway, let's do it today. Whatever I get my hands on, sip it in. But, you know, sip it in a lot. Propane because they're fast directing. I take one of them on Monday, 10 cc's, 10 cc's on, two, on Wednesday, and 10 cc's on Friday. And they're all 200 milligrams. So that's 2,000 milligrams, 2,000 milligrams, and two, that's, that's 6,000 milligrams. Kids, don't try that shit at home. But anyway, so there's your answer, Robert. All right, next question. All right, Nick Minji is one of my guys in the RC. He's always supporting me. Nick, thank you very much, brother. Wants to know. Greg, you once said in a video, he said you once told me, which he means so in a video, the digestive enzymes every other day in your video, how to, sh how to shrink your waist. Yes, I did do that video. You mentioned taking bromelain every day. My question is, do I take separate bromelain supplement since my digestive enzymes supplement already contains bromelain in it? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Nick, my brother. Yes. 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 Bromelain is fucking phenomenal. Not only is it a monster digestive enzyme. Okay. Because you could take HCL, you could take, oh, there's a whole bunch of fucking, you know, ox bile, all kinds of bullshit that guys take, okay? But bromelain not only helps digestive food, I'm talking about digestive food, I'm fucking like burp, burp, burping the gut indigestion over here. Because I'm just starting to eat regular food, you know what I mean? And the slice little thing makes me like a fucking bitch, you know? If it doesn't want to come up and out of my nose. Um, the bromelain. You know what the fucking beauty of bromelain is too? It's that's not only just the digestive enzyme. This way you should take it every day. Take at least 100 milligram. You could take 100 to 500 milligrams a day, extra on top of what's in your supplement. You know what the beauty beauty of it is? It's a wicked anti-inflammatory fucking supplement. Oh, and that is huge. That is huge. Bromelain. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend doing it. Guys, listen to me. You don't have to take digestive enzymes every day, like a digestive supplement, every time you eat, every day. I feel like that's overkill, and then you kind of fuck up your digestive tract. It's just like, uh, I mean, I'll show you. I got, I got fucking kefir and all that shit here and yogurt, and I do all that stuff. But I don't do it every day, all day. If I did it every day, all day, you fuck up. Overdoing it. Do you ever watch, listen. You ever watch TV and have these fucking... Um, they have these commercials, and on a commercial, it, they, they, they talk about, like, let's say antidepressants. You know, antidepressant drug X over here. Take antidepressant drug here. It'll make you feel better, and it shows the people, and, they, and now in one minute, they're like, there's an accident. They're all happy in the video, right? And then it says, one of the side effects of antidepressant drugs is depression. How does that, how, do, how, how can you take something for antidepression that's going to, could possibly, with well, a side effect is Causing depression. How? Well, it's the same thing if you take too much with the serotonin shit. You know, you know, you know, all those things. You know, 5-HTP, uh, too much GABA, all that stuff. It's no good. It's not good because then what it does is your body will shut down its own and you throw your levels off. And with, with probiotics and prebiotics, You'll almost overgrow that in your in your gut, and one of the side effects from taking probiotics is fucking gas, diarrhea, and the same thing. You're trying to take probiotics to stop. You want balance, is what you want. Okay, it's like an asshole who took six thousand milligrams of test a week. That's not good. Well, it was good for me at the time, but, you know, fucked up now for me. You know, it makes you all gods, and not fucking work, right? You be sure the God don't want to do what it's supposed to do. But what I'm saying is that 
sometimes it's balanced. So you don't need to take digestive enzymes all the time, especially if you're eating big meals or, you know, whatever, you know, it helps. But bromelain is the one thing that you could take pretty much every day, you know, just even just for anti-inflammatory purposes. It's fucking great. And you will notice knees don't ache as much. Elbows don't ache as much. Wrists don't ache as much. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Neck can move a little easier. You understand? Back is a little bit easier. It's not as swollen. Bromelain is good stuff. But too much of anything goes the opposite way. It does the same thing you're not supposed to do. Okay? Kabish. All right. Hope that helps. Antidepressants can cause depression. What? Probiotics, prebiotics, can cause gas, diarrhea, bloating, the same thing they're supposed to get rid of. Be smart. All right. Greg Jackson, FL. I guess that means Florida. Greg Jackson, FL. I think it means Florida. Who the fuck knows what you guys All right. Rocky Marciano right there. Greg Valentino, Paul DeMeo. Leela brought it in my gym. I took that picture. Uh, so Greg Jackson, Florida, wants to know, do your muscles feel flat, weaker from low-carb diet? Uh, okay, so he's asking me, I guess when you're on a low-carb diet, do you feel flatter and weaker? Well, yeah, of course. Of course you feel flat. It's normal. Okay? And you feel weaker. When you're flatter, you're weaker, of course. But, for me, I don't really get the pump from sugar. That people think, like, I'm going to take sugar before the work and I'm going to eat this wicked pump. Sugar's fuel. Sugar fills the muscles out. You know what really gives me a pump? Sodium. Go out. Eat Chinese food or some fucking really salty, salty, salty shit. Where you're so fucking... You know how, like, later on you're like, Dude, I, I drank fucking ten glasses of water at, at the Chinese restaurant. I, I'm still thirsty. All you want to do is drink. You can't get that... You got that pasty mouth and the, the dry mouth, you know, the shit, right? Then go work out. Drink tons of... You'll have the fucking... You'll be full as a motherfucker. Even if you're on no carbs. You know what I mean? What really... Gets guy and you taught me this Vinnie Comerford, Vince Comerford. You know, God rest his soul. His buddy used to train in my gym, and I know Vince very well. Okay, he was a monster. And um, what I'm trying to tell you is, when you when guys are on no carbs, your muscles are flat because they're not holding the sugar. That's why a lot of guys like Palumbo and they advertise that after you train, you take in a lot of sugar so that the next day you're full. Right. Well, yes, the muscle replenishes its glycogen stores and it fills out because, you know, the sugar goes in. But, but sodium is the one that really gives you that fucking pump in the gym. It can actually make you feel stronger. How about that? Um, yeah, I might be, I was going to give you a spin, but you guys, didn't even gonna, you, you probably wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Gasparri Super Pump. I was with another guy. We were going to do that supplement back in the 90s. And it wasn't going to be called Super Pump or anything. We wanted to come out with a pump supplement. And one of the things we were going to do was we were going to throw niacin and all this other shit, which you know, opens up your blood vessels. And the main thing was going to be, it's going to be almost like sodium loading. It was going to be a definitely sodium-based with potassium and all this other shit. Based pump system, okay? And I even came with Dom, Dr. Colin Coker. We tried to do one after that, but we left it with Garden State Nutrition. We never picked it up. Gasparri went there. Gasparri talked to him. They basically sold it, the format. And it's, that's the same formula. So I'm not saying Super Pump 250. I didn't come up with that formula, but we came up with the concept and, and, and another format and that Garden State Nutrition, who made up that VitaQuest, who made up that fucker, who actually manufactured that supplement. Because that's how I know it's this, the whole sodium thing is huge. I know about that from the fucking mid-80s. You know what I mean? I told you. Comerford taught, taught me that shit. All right? Whatever. Look, it doesn't matter. You know, just the, the bottom line is 
of course you're going to feel flat if you're on a ketogenic diet and you're not on carbs, okay? It's a given. Everybody knows that. Who doesn't know that? You're going to feel flat, okay? But if you really want to go in the gym and you're on a keto and you're really you're kind of dying and you really want to pick me up, fucking some salt, you know what I mean? Eat some sodium-based fucking no-carb food, but it'll make sure it's got some sodium on it. Drink a lot of fucking water and go to the gym. Maybe maybe a, even a Gatorade if that's, you know, no sugar. Gatorade with all the electrolytes and stuff in there. And believe me, you'll get a pump. All right. That's it. So what did we learn? We learned that Greg's a fucking Momo. And so are you. Um, what the fuck did we learn here? All right, we learned that First, the guys ask me, you know, we the people ask me about vaccinations. Uh, I mean, I don't know about vaccinations. I know the flu vaccine doesn't really work 50% of the time. From 50% of people take it and 50% of people uh, take it, don't feel, get sick, don't feel shit from it, all right? So, I don't know. He's asking me about vaccinations. I don't know if you want to get your kid vaccinated. I would, I, I would because I guess my kids were, uh, were vaccinated. But So, we learned... Mandatory vaccinations and all that other shit, if they ever come out with a vaccination for coronavirus, I don't think that's going to work as well as the antibodies, all right? That's a different story. They're two different things. Uh, what else did we learn? We learned um, that if you're a cop or somebody else and you want to take a nootropic, go ahead. Nootropics have nothing to do with testosterone. It's not, it's not going to show up like you're taking some sort of hormone or hormone-type drug. Okay, it's not going to show up like yeah, There's no amphetamines in, in, that I know of in any in, in any of the nootropics I know of. The guy asked me about Game Face because you know, Game Face is doing our other show. I don't. Know, there's not. You don't have to worry about that. Take whatever nootropic you want, but I definitely recommend Smart Drugs. It doesn't matter who you are. You can give it to your to your fucking wife just to go to work or you know mother around the house. It's not going to affect you, and it's not like a pre workout. It's not to say it's not even close. So there's nothing in there that's going to make you fail the test. In any of them. I'm not just talking about this one. In any of them. So I don't give a shit what you do. Alright. Um, what are, what else? Now, what's the other question he asked me? Uh, if you're taking uh, Robert Johnson, we, we learned that if you're taking 200 milligrams, it's not a, you know it's not rocket science. Know. If you're taking 400, you're going to get even more of a sex drive. You know It's going to be more frequent. You're going to feel better. You're going to get bigger. God bless you. But they won't really do that on TRT. They're not going to really do that that I know of anyway. I don't know of any doctors that put you for on 400 milligrams a week. I don't know. Especially at 42. You're 42 years old. Hmm. You know, I'm 60. So, whatever. We also learned that bromelain, forget about digestive enzymes all, you know, all day, all night. You know, they, they, they help. But they can't do shit every day. You got to do it as needed. Especially since, like, we, we know that Drugs that cause, the, you know, the anti-depressing drugs are also can also cause depression. Well, too much, too much probiotics, prebiotics can actually cause the same thing that they're trying to stop: bloating, gas, diarrhea. But bromelain is the one that you can take pretty much every day, and it's an anti-inflammatory. So we like bromelain. We like anti-inflammatory. It'll help your joints and shit. What was the last question here? Um, you know, everybody knows that when you're on no carbs, and you're, you, you know, we all, we learned that if you're on no carbs, of course you're going to be flat. But if you up your sodium, you eat some salty fucking meat or something, I don't know, you, you'll you get a pump in the gym, you'll get through it. Alright? So listen guys, listen. What do I tell you all the time? You're, you're the fucking Dr. Frankenstein, and you're also the Frankenstein monster. You get experiment on yourself. You're the science project, and you're the scientist. What do I do works for me. This doesn't mean it's going to work for you. All these internet guys, they got the answers. Try my training routine, you know, this and that. And it's just the fucking movie shit, bro. Okay, they can they can name a, you know, uh, you know, bro science, FS17, fucking whatever they call these fucking training systems. That works on him. Doesn't work on him. Works on me. Might not work on you. Figure it out. Try. Everything is trial and error. Even food. I don't like chicken, and I'm not big on turkey, pork, beef, I like, you know, and I believe it or not, they don't bother my stomach as much as chicken and fucking turkey. My, my, my friend tells me that's because chicken and turkey turn into glue in your intestines. They get gluey, it's sticky. They're sticky meats, whatever. 
but you may love that. That does what's right for me. It doesn't mean I give you what my experiences. You take it in, you play with it, see if it fits right for you. It's like the fucking Cinderella in a glass slipper. Might not fit your your foot. You understand? As much as you want it to, it might not fit. You gotta try and see. And if not, you make an adjustment. That's how it's done. Okay, that's why Sean Ray doesn't understand why these guys need gurus. Once you learn, here's what I learned. This is what I do right here. Okay, I have all my notes down. You have your own hands. The guru doesn't know your body. You can't give that fucking, you know, same fucking workout to everybody. And all going to get it. That was the case. I say, here's Ronald Schwarzenegger's routine. You do this and you're going to get it. You could fucking follow his book and do his, his lifts for, you know, set for set, rep for rep, weight for weight. And you'll never look like him. It's and it's you gotta find what's right for you, okay? Gabish. All right, I gotta give the voice box a little bit of a rest here. Listen, guys, I love you. Positive thoughts. That's very important, especially when you're training. You can't let this this Corona shit get to you. It's it's gonna end. This too shall pass. Okay, if you're not at a gym. Do what you got to do. Go back to my last video, old school training, and do it the way I tell you. Cut your set. Do your home stuff that you got to do, okay? And wait five seconds rest and go, you know, still go to fair, get that burn. Just relax, though. Shit's going to come. Your goal is to just maintain yourself, keep yourself active, keep yourself hard until the gym opens up and you can get back to hanging and banging, all right? I love you guys, but just stop beating yourself up over this shit. Stop fucking freaking out and getting paranoid and start thinking the government's there poisoning the water. You know, chemtrails. Think about that shit with chemtrails. The guy who's flying a plane and dropping all this shit down. You don't think his own family's going poison his own family or poison himself up there? Do you, do you know that if I drop a chemical way up by the clouds here, that shit can blow across the fucking halfway across the United States? So, I'm not getting into it. Some of you guys are no, 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 you don't know, Valentina. You're uninformed. Yeah. Okay. And there goes Elvis with Michael Jackson. All right. Be good to yourself. Be good to your girl. Be good to your significant other. Pay your child support. Don't be a fucking deadbeat dad. No bad thoughts. You're not a loser. Life doesn't suck. Stop that shit. There's somebody right now on a fucking deathbed who would change fucking places with you with two fucking seconds. Stop the pity shit. Get yourself off. Put up your big boy pants and do what you gotta do. This shit will end. But until it does, you do what you got to do. All right? Stop fucking around. And I'll see you in Talking Smack the next video. All right, guys. I love you guys, man. I fucking do. I'm only making videos. If you only knew, I'm fucking dying. But I do it because that's what I do. I'm my kind of guy. All right. See you next video.